Alright, the final topic in this section is rationalizing substitutions. So, so far we've only been dealing with rational functions in this section. <laughs> and here is a, a function that involves a radical. So this is not a rational function. Uh, this is not a polynomial, so it's not a rational function. But it turns out we can turn this into an integral involving rational functions. And the trick is just to substitute for the radical part. Sometimes you have to be a little clever, but this problem turns out to be particularly nice. So let's try u equals the square root of x plus 2. And when we do the substitution, we have to keep in mind that u has to always be positive. Um, and it's sometimes easier to get rid of the radical. So here we have to make sure that uh, in an actual definite integral problem, x, x plus 2 has to be positive. So that would say that x has to be greater than or equal to negative 2. But continuing, continuing at the substitution, we get 2u du, that's the derivative of this side, equals just dx. And now I can plug that in up here. dx is 2u du. And the bottom, well, I have this x right there. The way I can turn that in terms of u is to use this. So x is u squared minus 2. And then we're subtracting the last part, which is just u. So this is a rational function, and we know how to do this. Maybe just for one more example, we might as well go through it. So to start, we have to factor the bottom. This is u squared minus u minus 2. So if I want to factor this, maybe I'll put a 2 there and a 1 there. And to get a negative 1, I'll have to subtract and add. So that's what the bottom looks like. So our guess, these are distinct linear factors. Our guess will be that it looks like a over u minus 2 plus b over u plus 1. So getting a common denominator, we have a u plus 1 plus b u minus 2 over u minus 2 u plus 1 du. The top is just a plus b times u. And then I have a minus 2b. Now I erased the original expression, but what we had was 2u in the numerator. So that says our two equations are a plus b equals 2 and a minus 2b equals 0. So I have to solve these two equations, and they're not bad. a is 2b. I can substitute that up here and get 2b plus b equals 2. So all that says 3b equals 2. b is 2 thirds. And a is therefore 2 times 2 thirds, or 4 thirds. So that does it. So let's just put that in for a and b. Four thirds, two thirds, and then.
then integrating this is no big deal. I have four thirds natural log u minus two plus two thirds natural log u plus one plus c. And now I put substitution back in.